That's a bit better. So let's try opening the curtains. Right. Hi guys, it's Platinum, and I haven't vlogged in a hot minute. So I decided to film this get ready with me for online school because online school has been the main reason why I haven't been vlogging. So yeah, I'm just going to give you guys a little life update and let you know how I've been coping with the changes in terms of schooling and going to, going to university because I study in Spain while I'm here at home with my fam in the Philippines. Let's go to the makeup table. So hi guys, we are now in the makeup area. I just like pushed my bed to the side. Sometimes I use a chair, sometimes I use a bed. It gets really tempting sometimes to like crawl back under the sheets, but I really have a lot of motivation though. In the mornings, I wake up like 6.30 to 7 or so. It's just like I'm so ready to, not really to get the day started, but to eat avocado toast, the OG favorite. Anyway, so let's get started with the makeup. By the way, can we just like take this moment to appreciate how I've organized my makeup table? Hold on. So here we have a mirror. I got this from my Kuya CJ, my cousin, for my 18th birthday. Really bright lights over here. And then I added these sparkly things. I just actually taped them. So let's just push that. For the aesthetic, you know, I just thought it looks really pretty with the light diffraction and all. I even have this crystal. And then I have this tea set tray. I actually got this at Versailles when I visited Paris for the first time. I was 13, so oh my gosh, this is like 7 years old. So yeah, and then I have some makeup products. Which we will be using in a while. Pick a perfume later as well. Jewelry box and then more makeup, rosary. Oh, that's my Quentamip prop. Oh, sorry. And then <laughs> some fam pictures over there, baby pictures. So let's get started. So first I just really start with the complexion. So I use this Lancome Cushion Compact. Now, the reason why I like this is that it has high SPF. It has SPF of 50 plus PA triple plus. So yeah, going to use that. And my shade is 02. Just dab it under my eyes. Just like really light. I like to put a little bit of makeup just to motivate myself even though I'm just studying at home. Sometimes I like to add this where I tend to sweat or where I usually get oily because I feel like the product just absorbs the oil and controls it, which I think it's great. It's like a foundation and powder in one for me. So I really recommend this. I'm not sure if you could get this in the Philippines though. I had to get this when I was in Japan and when I was in um, Vietnam. It's a bit of a challenge looking for this. And I take my Becca palette and I take the bronzer just for a little bit of that sun-kissed glow. Because Sometimes it's a BB cushion because it is part of their Blanc Expert line, so it's supposedly brightening. It sometimes makes me too pale for my liking, so I like to bring back the color. And then I add this peachy pink blush. This one, by the way, is like so convenient. I've been using this Becca palette from the Chrissy Teigen collaboration almost throughout my whole college life. You could also go in with the highlighters. I usually just use this one. It's in the shade Beach Nectar. This one just fits my skin tone better than Rose Gold over here. So sometimes I use this or what I've been using too is this Chanel highlighter. It's, my, it's really my favorite. I've been using this since I got it in Christmas 2019. I feel like it's just an 
brighter opalescent highlight and I guess I just use the Becca one usually in the summer or towards the end of summer because that's when I'm more tan and the peachy highlighters pop a lot more then let's do the eyes the windows to the soul because I don't, eyes don't lie and I don't know how to lie either so I'm using this Shuemura X Murakami eyelash curler all right so just to share a little bit with you guys about online school with online school I enrolled around last September for the October intake in the fall oh my gosh the reason why I enrolled pretty late is because I wasn't even sure what was going to happen or what I was going to do I wasn't sure if I was going to travel back to Spain in time for the October intake because Spain was already doing face-to-face -face classes or if I'm going to do online and we were just really trying to assess the level of the COVID situation my family and I were kind of trying to evaluate the number of cases and we decided later on that I'm just staying here since it didn't seem to be getting any better so far. Thankfully, I was able to reserve a place last summer, which I had to do anyway because I needed to renew my Spanish student residence. Anyway, so now I'm doing an online class um, and it's mostly self-study. I have 10 modules and that includes already like finance, IT. I actually enjoy the modules because I can sense like some sort of connection and linkage with Cambridge concepts. So they're quite familiar to me and I feel like it's just, you know, added information. Just building on the foundation that was already established in high school with British education. Because my university is Swiss, but my university is Swiss. It's in Spain and it uses a British curriculum. Uh, it's an affiliate of Cambridge University. I guess if I were to compare online school to regular school in the old normal, I'd say that online school could be considered pretty convenient. You can do it anytime, anywhere, you know, typical advantages of the internet and online, anything online. If you're a night person, you could do it at midnight. You know, you don't have any classmates who'd want to sleep earlier than you perhaps. Or if you're a morning person, do it at 6 a.m. Well, I wake up around that time. I don't do it at 6 a.m. though, but I am a morning person, for example. You could do it while you're working out, while you're running essential errands. You could just read through while you're doing your grocery shopping, for example, or even if you're by the pool. Also, you have less homework. Well, for example, I have less homework with my self-study curriculum. What we do have though, you have to read through the entire modules first, and then we have a final assessment online. It's, it's probably like an hour long test for each of the 10 modules. And then we also have to submit either six or eight. Um, six. Six written reports of 3,000 to 4,000 words each. So yeah, I guess that's fine considering that you have a whole academic year to accomplish those things. And then we also have what's been taking up most of my time, a thesis report, which is supposed to be about 10,000 to 12,000 words long. And it's due at the end of the first semester. So yeah, what I know is that thesis reports, they're supposed to be due towards the end of the entire year, but apparently <laughs> half the year. Anyway, but we're coping, it's fine. I mean, we have all the time in the world here at home. So, I'm going to use this lipstick. This is from Hermes. It's in the shade Rose Ensemble, um, number 18. Yeah. It's just this neutral, almost cool toned rose shade, and it's almost the color of my lips, actually. you see the difference? I mean, well, I really just got this lipstick because 
my mom and I had been following the MS lipsticks for a while until we finally went to the store when I arrived in the Philippines. So I really just got this lipstick for myself. It's kind of a pricey lipstick and I'm aware that I can't wear it out because I have to wear a mask but it's just something you know to make you feel good. I usually pick a fragrance. This is what I would usually wear to school. This is Chanel Coco Mademoiselle and Jo Malone but I think I'm feeling a bit more simple, young and sweet today. So I think I will use this. Jo Malone one. This is in Peony and Blush Suede. I'll spray some in my hair as well. Brush it out. Look, it has my name on it. For those of you concerned with hygiene, I showered last night, don't worry. I also washed my face too before filming this makeup portion. I guess I forgot to vlog washing my face. Although it would probably not be that interesting. Anyway, and then I like to put on some jewelry. I like to wear some rings, for example. At least two, one on each hand. Oh, by the way, do you like my manicure? I had it done at Pianjay. Thank you, Kayo. I love them so much. They're two-toned. I have white and red. Oh, if you're wondering, the nail polish I use um, both are from Chanel. This is in the shade Pure White, and this is in the shade Pirate. Now, let's get changed. All right, so I want to do that cool transition when I jump in bed, and then suddenly I've changed, you know? Like, I don't know if that's like TikTok or something. I don't have a TikTok anymore. Anyway, so yeah, and then I realized my bed is still like really messy and I thought this is embarrassing. I'm just like, I'm just like, I'm just like, so yeah, I keep waking up here at like 6.30, 7 a.m. And that doesn't always mean that I'm sleeping early though. Like the other night I was up till midnight or so just to film something and record some vocal tracks because I'm taking part of this project with Child Aid Asia. I actually got to collaborate with them before when I was around 16. If you guys don't know Child Aid Asia, it's basically a fundraising organization. So they hold concerts with performers from all around the world, including the Philippines. And we travel out of the country to perform abroad. This year though, because of the pandemic, we're going to hold a concert via Zoom and it's going to be internationally broadcasted. And yeah, it's just, just like really exciting. So we've been recording vocal tracks, filming videos, and putting them all together to create this concert. And I really hope to share with you guys further details very soon. But yeah, for now, let's just get dressed for the day and focus on online school. So I have this lace blouse from Evernew. It zips up from the back. Got this. Shorts. They're pretty short, so I don't wear them that often, except to the beach, but I'm just at home anyway. So these are in the style mid-Saturday. If only it were Saturday, really. All right. Yes. So there we are. I might do a little bit of more recording for Child Aid Asia as well. Um, yeah, every now and then it gets kind of nerve-wracking and exciting at the same time. Honestly, sometimes I just think to myself, maybe I just got used to doing nothing and then all of a sudden I'm doing a bunch of things and trying to balance music with my studies and all. It was actually funny because when I was in quarantine, I was so anxious because I had nothing to do and that makes me kind of feel bothered. I feel like, what am I doing with my life? Like, where is my life going? Like, what is my purpose? I guess I overthink those things every now and then. And then now I'm thinking like, how am I going to begin with all that I have to do? And I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I mean, of course, I do acknowledge that it's so much better being back home and having the comfort of family, being around you and taking care of you. And oftentimes, actually, I'm not even thinking about what I don't have. For me, my concern is really about making the most of what I do have. So given that, I just, I guess I just get anxious still 
but doing my best given all the blessings that I already do possess. But my parents tell me at least, like the advice that I keep reminding myself to is that just to just be in the moment and enjoy what you do, enjoy working hard for things. Um, even though there aren't even people around to see you, I guess that kind of reward, sense of reward should be intrinsic and every now and then you should be the one who should be able to assess and evaluate the value of your work and your worth as an individual. Yes, sometimes you don't even really need to know what other people have been doing because here in quarantine you realize that everyone follows different schedules. Some people are morning persons, some people are night persons. I guess for me it's just really about maintaining a certain discipline but at the same time just enjoying what you do. Like don't force yourself to do something. I mean I, I get how with a lot of people it's really hard to enjoy school but if you think about the long-term benefits like when you graduate and, and you finally get your first job I guess I'm kind of rambling now but to be honest I'm still a student myself I'm still learning and I think like many students my age studying is not all I do or at least I try to make time for my passions as well especially for causes that are bigger than me like with Child Aid Asia in past years, we would hold the concerts to send disadvantaged children to music school. But this year with the pandemic and the growing necessity for online learning, we are going to raise the funds to buy and distribute tablets for children so that they can attend online classes. Whenever I feel anxious about something, I just try to remind myself that I'm not just doing this for myself. If you make goals just for yourself over time, it could feel kind of empty because at the end of the day, you don't really want to be the only happy person in your room. Like when you lift yourself up, you want, you want to bring others with you too. And I guess other than such efforts in charity, this is also something I try to practice when I study because I always think apart from wanting a career of my own, one day I'd also like to provide for my family and all because I know how hard they work. This would be my way of at least doing my duty as a daughter and paying it back to them for all the times that they were there to support me. I realize that I have been rambling quite a bit throughout this vlog, but hey, I guess that's the reality of life. I mean, I'm basically just sharing with you guys my stream of consciousness and whatever goes on in my mind, and I'm sorry if it's quite messy, but I hope to get back and get used to vlogging all over again very soon and I hope you guys will still be there to watch the videos and hang out with me. I like to share about music, my life, makeup. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos, I really try to, every Tuesday. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video.